a hello. Now, you know, there's always the problem with buying pillows for a king size bed or super king bed. So I've just spent a lot of money, well, we have, me and my husband, and I mean a lot of money on these uh, quilt covers and pillows, but yet they don't have the right size pillow uh, cases for the actual king size bed or even super king bed. So what they have done is given us an ordinary standard um, pillow. But what I am going to do, because I make pillows myself, is here you can see that the pillow is reduced. I have a, a, a king size pillow going into a pillowcase. And as you can see here, it sticks out by far, right? Because there's a stitch in there and a stitching inside, which reduces the pillow, squashes it up, but it never stays that way. So here's a, loose, a solution for you to do. What I'm going to do is around the edges, you can see that stitching around the edge there, and there's another one there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpick this stitch there. I'm going to unpick it, and I'm also going to unpick the one inside to free up space so that this pillar now fits. So you won't have the original pattern where you've got this flap extra flap doing nothing going all the way around what you're going to do is just have a flap here so it still maintains a nice style on your bed but at least your pillow will sit comfortably and this will be nice and free so i'm going to unpick it now and then i'm going to show you um the finishing touch i'm going to put it on the bed This is where I'm picking. And I'm picking this all the way down. So, because uh, there's some still here, so, so I'll just pick it out. And then at the side, I'll just strengthen it so it doesn't fall out. Simple. And then the pillow fits. Splendid. You wouldn't believe how much for these pillowcases. Give a guess. Before we go for the bed? Not far, actually. 35. 35, was it? Yeah. For the pair, I actually thought it was for one, I think. But yeah, look at that. In fact, um, you can hardly see the difference. But this is the better one. It's more comfortable than this one. And I'm going to explain to you. Now, what I've done is I've released it and the full extent of the pillar is out. right? And it's sitting comfortably in it. Right, there is room for you if you want to stitch this back up a little bit, just to give you a little bit of style, but I wouldn't bother. Right, this is fine. So it sits nicely. So when you're laying down on the bed, it's nice and comfortable. That's the difference, right? Now, this one here, right, here, the pillar curves round and the pattern, this fabric has gone behind, right? This one here, the fabric's pushed out and it's not sitting comfortable. In no way will it ever sit really comfortable. If you can accept that, that's great. But because it reduces it on your bed, it will reduce the whole thing on your bed and it doesn't fit nicely on your king size bed. That's the difference. So let me flip it over and show you. Can you see here now, it will never, ever, ever sit comfortable because it's been forced in to stay that way right so even though you might think it's got the shape it just doesn't sit beautifully on your bed so there it is now and it looks okay but it's not it won't sit anything properly but this one does so for 
You can test it out yourself, but I will be pulling this one out. So this one is not pulled out as yet. That one's pulled out and that is that is the size of the king size bit. Yeah, so that is a tip. And for years, this company in particular, because I always buy this company, it's an expensive range, but yet they're not making pillowcases to fit it, but yet they do single ones to fit it. Think single plain ones. No, we want both of them on back and front. Yeah, so that's the tip for today. Thank you for watching. Yeah, can you not see the difference?